Content at Scale is an AI writing tool that's custom tailored for creating blog articles that are going to rank in search engines. So instead of having to create a whole prompt and really customize what you're prompting like ChatGPT or Jasper, you literally just provide the keyword phrase that you wanna search for and behind the scenes, it'll actually do a search for that term, analyze all of the articles that are top ranking and figure out what you need in order to have an article that will fit right in with those ones. Now with their latest update, you can even produce articles off of a YouTube video, a podcast, or an audio file. So this is awesome for generating written content for your YouTube videos or podcasts or stealing other people's content. Okay, this is weird. So like seriously, it's weird that you can just generate stuff off of someone's YouTube video. Um, but it's like, it's not just copying it. It's creating something original and it's just, it just feels weird. I'm not going to lie. It feels weird, but this is the reality we live in with tools like content at scale and like chat GPT and stuff like that. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a typical workflow for generating articles, how you can publish articles directly from content at scale to your WordPress website using their custom WordPress plugin and look at other ways content at scale differs from chat GPT and tools like Jasper. Now, if you want to try content at scale, you can use my affiliate link below and you'll get 20% more post credits every single month. All right, so let's take a look at an example article I've generated in content at scale. So we'll zoom out later in the video and I'll show you how to generate this, but I just wanted to show you the output and see how different this looks from other AI tools. So the biggest thing is this is formatted for you automatically like a blog post. You have a table of contents that has anchor links to the content below. You have your header tags. All the paragraphs are formatted properly. You've got these interesting key takeaway sections that get generated automatically. So it's really intelligently structured as uh, an SEO optimized article. We have uh, numbered lists, an FAQ section, and a conclusion at the bottom. Now this is a fully featured editor right here. You can also add images to the article. They're linked up with a bunch of royalty free uh, libraries. So you really don't even need to go into WordPress at all to format your articles. Now that differs from chat GPT in that you would have to copy and paste bits and pieces of things you've generated, bring that into WordPress. You'd have to create a new post. You'd have to do all of your title tags, categorization, all of that stuff. And you'd have to format all of that in WordPress. Whereas with content at scale, all that formatting is done for you, um, already. And if we look over here, we've got a title that's generated automatically. So this entire article was generated by simply providing this keyword phrase to content at scale. And it creates a title for us, gives our URL slug, our meta description. Um, and all of this gets synchronized to WordPress when we're ready to publish it. So all I need to do if I want to publish this is change the status and through their custom WordPress plugin, which I've synchronized with my website, when I publish this here, um, it'll publish live on my website for me. So I don't even have to log into my WordPress site. And there's a ton of additional SEO tools that are included with content at scale. So we have this awesome optimization score snapshot. This is really similar to like Surfer SEO. So if you're using Jasper, you kind of have to pay extra to use Surfer, which will get you these sorts of stats. But with content at scale, it's built right in. So this will kind of give you a, a zero to hundred score on SEO optimization, gives you stats number of words, how many uh, images are in your article, and you get a complete checklist here that you can go through to optimize your article. Now down here, this will show you uh, keywords that are recommended to be included in your article. So as an example, the phrase affiliate links appears in our article five times, but it's recommended that it should be in the article six to seven times based on the search results. So if I add that phrase, to my article, we can see this updates in real time. And now this turns green to let us know that we have the recommended number of instances of this specific keyword phrase. And so where is it getting all of this information? How does it know the number of times you should be mentioning certain keyword phrases? When you generate an article, 
It's actually going out behind the scenes and doing a search and finding all of the top ranking articles for that keyword phrase. And so it goes through and analyzes how many times those specific keywords appear through all of those articles. This is radically different from ChatGPT and Jasper. They're not going out and doing searches behind the scenes and seeing what are the top ranking articles um, for that keyword phrase. So that's really a game changer with content at scale. Its sole purpose is to create content that's gonna rank well in search engines. So another cool thing we can do is, let's say we like this um, specific paragraph in this article in the search engine results. We can actually place our cursor in the article here and click this button right here, and it'll add a similar type paragraph to your content. And so this creates a paragraph for you, you know, using this part of that article, and here's the article right here. So it's not copying this at all. It's creating an original um, piece of, you know, a paragraph, an original paragraph, just based off of the information that's kind of in this part of this article. And if you're worried about plagiarism, you can run a plagiarism check, which I've already done here, and it shows that I've only got 1% that's plagiarized. And if you look at the highlighted section, so it'll highlight the sections of the article that are considered plagiarism, where it sees a, an exact match for that uh, elsewhere on the internet. And so this is using Copyscape in the background to run a plagiarism check. So it's a third party plagiarism check. And you can see that the, um, you know, this right here is a very common term, you know, affiliate marketing for, so we can ignore that. This right here might be something we want to change up a little bit because it's like a whole sentence. But so you can go through here and see you know, if Copyscape has found any part of the article that has been, you know, directly plagiarized and you can go ahead and make some little tweaks if you want to. And the other thing to be concerned about with AI content is whether Google and other, you know, tools can recognize that it's uh, AI generated. So here we have an 84% score, um, highly likely to be human. Um, and, you know, we, I still haven't, really tweaked this much at all. You know, I've got a score of 58 out of 100. So I would spend a little bit more time kind of going through here, um, maybe adding some call to actions and things like that. And just kind of in general, reviewing the whole thing and tweaking it how I want. All right, so let's take a step back and look at how to create an article from scratch. So in your main dashboard, you have your projects and you can think of each project as a website. So whether you have multiple websites of your own or you're working on client websites, you would have a dedicated project for each website. So you click into the project and this will show you all of the articles or posts that you've created. And over here is your content planner. So you can sort of create a queue of articles that are about to be generated. So you can upload keywords in bulk if you want, if you're using like Ahrefs or some sort of keyword research tool and you want a, a bunch of articles generated by content at scale at once, you can upload all of those keywords at once and then kind of go through and tweak them before you go ahead and generate the content. But to create an article, we're gonna go ahead and click add content. So with their latest update, not only can you generate an article just from a keyword phrase, but you can also feed it an existing blog post URL, a YouTube video, podcast episode, or custom audio file. So if you have like a podcast episode recorded on your computer, you can just upload it here. So in this case, let's just use a keyword. We'll click next. So let's create an article uh, choosing a camera for YouTube. We can select the number of words that we want uh, in the article. And if we wanna provide additional context, we can do this here. So a good example of when you would wanna use additional context, I created an article about affiliate marketing and it generated an article from like a business's perspective if they wanted to find affiliates to promote their products. But I was actually wanting an article from an affiliate's perspective, you know, how to find products to promote. So I just tweaked the context a little bit that way uh, content at scale understood which perspective I was interested in. But for the most part, especially with their latest update, you don't really need to provide a lot of context. So we're just going to use the keyword phrase and we'll click create content now. 
So we can see that the content's been added for us and we just need to wait a few minutes and refresh the page. So I feel like the creation process could be a little bit improved uh, because it doesn't really give you like live updates. You have to refresh the page in order to see the status. Um, and then you kind of like have to hover over this little bar here. So we're about 40% done. It's been a few minutes. Looks like there was an error with the FAQ. We'll have to check that out. All right, so here's our article ready for optimization. All right, so here's the article. And again, I can go through and edit and review and you know, incorporate these keywords to improve the SEO score. So a couple other examples, here's a real estate agent career tips for achieving success. This was generated from a YouTube video. So full article generated from a YouTube video. Uh, here's another one. Can you put solar panels on a tile roof tips and alternatives? This is another article generated from a keyword phrase. So fully formatted, ready to publish. And finally, exploring four day work week benefits, trials and successes. This was generated from a podcast episode. So really powerful tool. And again, if you want to check out content at scale, use my affiliate link below and you'll get 20% additional post credits every single month. All right. So that's my review of content at scale. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.